The stereo system you see here probably costs more than your car. At about $60,000, this high-end audio gear is as much a trophy as it is a way to enjoy listening to music. There's a lot to brag about here. The speakers are huge and powerful. The amp is huge and powerful. And there's technology going on here that you won't ever find at your local Best Buy. In fact, I'm only aware of five dealers in the US where you can audition this system. This is the Technics, or Techniques, depending on where you're from, Reference Class R1 series. And you probably know the brand because of their turntables, which are super popular among DJs. But they've been making high-end audio gear for decades. We didn't see all of it over here in the States. But then all of a sudden, five years ago, they just shut the brand down. And then somebody must have changed their mind because they got brought back. And they did so to make a statement system. And that's exactly what this is, the best Technics could make. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty outstanding. So let's start with the speakers, which are 160 pounds a piece. And that's a testament to how robust the cabinetry is. You can get a sense of that from knocking on the cabinets. They bite back hard. And you can't miss this coaxial driver, which mounts a one inch dome tweeter in this totally flat 6.5 inch mid-range driver. The other drivers in the speaker are all six and a half inch woofers. And they feature this really funky looking surround that's intended to minimize distortion. The three and a half way crossover network, which you can't see, is broken into three individual boards, and that's supposed to prevent interference between the drivers and damaging vibrations. Finally, you get some seriously beefy hardware, spikes for the carpeted floors and discs you can place under the spikes on hard surfaces. Next is the amplifier, and we'd be here all day if I told you about all the proprietary tech in this thing, so here's the highlights. The amp weighs in at 119 pounds. It features a dual mono design, so everything is separated into two individual sections for left and right, and it'll deliver 150 watts per channel into an 8 ohm load, or 300 watts per channel into a 4 ohm load. Now, the speakers here are 4 ohms nominal, so we've got a total of 600 watts of available power here, and because speakers impedance is never constant, the amp monitors the resistance coming from the speakers and optimizes it to preserve proper phase. Finally, we've got the network audio control player, which can handle any high-res digital audio file. It supports AirPlay and has several digital and analog inputs for nearly any device, except a turntable. You'll need an outboard preamp for that. One of the special things about this control piece is that it takes incoming analog signals and converts them to digital, performing a sort of up conversion process along the way. And it does that because it delivers signals to the amp in the digital domain. We're actually using ethernet cables here. The signal remains digital until the last possible second, and then it gets converted just before amplification. That's a pretty fancy engineering right there. This boa constrictor looking thing is actually speaker cable. Might as well go big with the speaker cable if you're gonna go big with your audio system. And Technic sent us this because they thought it was the best. Kimber Cable's Monocle XL. It'll set you back about 1200 bucks for 15 feet. Wow, I mean, that's just glorious stuff. I don't care how many hundreds of times you've heard a piece of music if you listen to it on this system, you're gonna hear stuff that you didn't know was there before. And the crazy thing about it is, it's gonna seem so obvious. Like, how could you have missed that? Uh, so that revealing aspect that people love about high-end audio systems, uh, this is bringing it to me in spades. And you know what's funny about that is, I mean, we were just listening to a over 20-year-old used record on a not that great turntable with no external phono preamp, and it sounded incredible. We've also played CDs, stream music from Spotify, uh, Apple Music, um, even some uh, high-res audio files from our computer. All of it, absolutely epic. It just sounds huge. The soundstage is deep and wide, and it sounds as if the vocals are coming from the wall, like the guy's sitting right there singing at you. It delivers that kind of you are there uh, experience that I think a lot of people are craving and never quite get to. I know what you're thinking. $60,000 is an incredible amount of money to spend an audio system. You can put together something amazing for $6,000, but the person this system is aimed at isn't gonna bat an eyelash over 60 grand, just like they wouldn't bat an eyelash when they drop $1.5 million on a Ferrari LaFerrari. It's pure, unadulterated luxury. It delivers an amazing experience, and it is definitely one hell of a trophy.